This is Matt once again from Real Talk and Business. If you have lived in the ghetto before or are living in there now, you know how it is. You know what's going on. You know what it entails. It could be troublesome at times. You hearing loud neighbors. This could be in the suburbs too, but in the ghetto, it's very prevalent. You hear the loud neighbors. You hear the gunshots. Liquor stores on every corner. You see it everywhere you go. People hanging out, smoking and drinking. During the days and, and, and the nights. Drug dealing. People hustling. You have the fights break out. Robbing and stealing. And it's not every single ghetto. But it's, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch. You see it everywhere. You hear it everywhere you go. So if you live in the ghetto, you have lived in the ghetto, you know what it's all about. Most people that I talk to want to escape this environment. They want to better themselves. They want a, a different view on life. They don't want to keep hearing the same thing over and over again. They want to change. They want something different in their life. And a normal thinking person would think this. But some people, when they want to leave this environment, they still haven't left. They still haven't left because of this. Right up here. Right up here. If you want to leave the ghetto, if you want to leave the slums, if you want to leave the poor neighborhood, it would make sense to leave the mentality, the ghetto mindset behind you. That makes sense, right? I'm seeing so many people that they leave the ghetto they might get a new house, a bigger house, a better a house or a car. They get the finer things in life, but they still have it left. They still take the, the mindset with them. If you want to leave the ghetto, you should want to change your mentality. I see so many people, they are doing great. Have a great career. A great business, a great job, a nice house, nice car. But they still act like they're in the ghetto. I don't get it. And when I say they still bring the ghetto and with them and they still act like they're in the ghetto, they still are, are, are a negative person. They still are an instigator. They still want to cause fights. They still look for trouble. They still are argumentative. You know, they still uh, push away positive people from their life. They act like they're still in the ghetto. They still right there. Haven't left at all. Still right there. Still right there. People don't want to leave the ghetto. People don't want to leave the ghetto. They want to change their environment physically. But mentally, they still haven't left yet. They still don't want to change. So it would make sense to change everything. It should be a, a, a total package that you want to revamp. I'm seeing a lot of people just want to change where they're at physically, but still want to keep the ghetto uh, mindset still want to keep and drag along this poverty mentality with them. You, you're only going to bring trouble along with you. The trouble is always going to follow you. 
Just because you change your physical environment, that doesn't mean you're going to escape the ghetto. You're going to bring it along with you if you haven't changed this. That's why I don't go by people's physical appearance. I don't go by that. I don't go by people's physical appearance or where they are physically, where they're living physically. I don't go by that. I go by how you are mentally. How are you thinking? Where's your mind at? That controls your body. Not the ghetto. Not those big mansions and cars. Right up here, that controls your body. That controls how you are as a person. You should want to change this if, 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 if nothing else. If nothing else, you should want to change your mindset and your mentality where you are mentally. This is Matt from Real Talk and Business, and I'll see you in the next one.